Hello and welcome back to another KSP career episode with me. I'm your host Grumforks and today we will be building the ship that will be going to Moho. The whole idea is that this will be a probe, you know, with a lot of science sensors and all that stuff. And its only task is to get to Moho, get into its orbits and send an, a tremendous amount of science yes because we need more science to advance our technology because we are kind of in a rut and a stuck so i'm sending probes to distant worlds to be able to get a lot of science so that we can advance our program and get to the good stuff which is of course the crude exploration the crude colonization and all those funny bits but first we need to actually go around and play with the bits. So in previous episode, I did a little bit more, um, you know, starship testing. That's still under development, but, um, you know, spoiler alert, I'm actually changing the mod. I'm no longer going with the Tundra version of the starship, but I'm gonna go in the starship expansion, as you will probably have a chance to see in one of my upcoming episodes. I need to build it, I need to test it, see how it works, and then see how I can apply it. I have no idea how that works. But in order to unlock all these wonderful components, we need more science, and to get more science, I need to collect more science somewhere. So, Moho is a planet that we have not yet explored, so it's really nice and fresh and ripe for the picking. So, I'm trying to design a craft that will be able to milk it for all its glorious science. Yes. Uh, right. So, the whole purpose of the Moho craft is to be as light as possible because... Uh, so that the actual payload is as light as possible because it's actually... Moho is quite far and it takes a tremendous amount of Delta V to get into its orbit. And it is a little bit, you know, tricky to get there. Very high Delta V requirement. So I'm trying to squeeze every ounce of Delta V that I can get. Try to get as much, you know, fuel to mass or, you know, payload to mass ratio low or fuel to mass ratio high actually so that I can... So that the most of my craft is fuel so to say. Also, Moho is very close to the Kerbal, so I don't know if it, I should be concerned about it, but I'm taking the thermal control system with me anyway, because I want to have some sort of cooling. We're getting in, we're getting close, it's gonna be hot. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm actually thinking donut tanks, that might be doing the toroidal, those are actually quite nice. Oh, look, cryogenic fuel tank. Yeah, mm, that sounds plausible to me. And then we need to figure out the engine for it. Hecate sounds like a good option, I think. So if I go with uh, yeah, LH2 and oxidizer, so I think it's liquid methane, which would give us a quite substantial delta V amount. That's nice. So I'm going to call this probe Moho Explorer Mark 1. Yeah. There we go. That looks decent to me. Uh, what am I forgetting? I have the solar panels, I have the radiators. Okay, I think that craft is okay in terms of payload. So now we have to build a big gas rocket that will be launching this and actually shooting it out all the way to Moho. So this is actually the stage that will hopefully be going around in the orbit of Moho and I hope it will have enough Delta V to stop in the orbit. I don't know how much it takes to perform an orbital insertion in Moho, but yeah. Um, I'm also counting a little bit on the transfer stage to provide some amount of fuel, uh, so that's why I'm completely over-engineering this rocket. See? Probably it's much bigger than it needs to be, but then again, it doesn't matter. All right. So let's see. Uh, yeah, this will be the transfer stage. Uh, I need a good engine. Yeah, that looks cool. Bagora. There we go. Now, where's my mainsail when you need one? Mainsail, show your face. Come on. Mainsail? Mainsail, here you are. I've been looking for you, buddy. 
So mainsail, that gives us a whopping 8,000 meters per second of delta V. I'm not sure if that's good enough. Yeah, 9,600 was our thrust to weight, 1.52. That's decent. I'm actually overall happy with that. That seems, looks to me like a semi-decent delta V requirement, so yeah. Okay, let's check our staging. I don't want to build them complex because Moho transfer window is actually quite near. So, yeah, I'm just thinking so to have a, maybe a nice, you know, launch platform. Do we have something that could fit nicely? Like this. Shroud, yeah, no. Service tower. There we go. Shall I place it on the other side? There we go. That sounded like too close to for my comfort, so... There we go. Looks pretty nice, come on. Yeah, there's a platform over here and then another platform over there. That looks... that looks snazzy! Now I need something... what is that? Shall we take you, Sunshine? Yep, yeah, something like that. Oh, that looks decrepit totally. Yeah, actually, I like that one better. All right. There, uh, there we go, I guess. Oh, I need to rotate this one. Yeah. So now all is consistent. Beautiful. All right. So now I need um, basically a umbilical arm. Okay, that one seems like a little bit too big. I need a small one. Right, so it looks like that and it falls on this side. That's wrong. I should probably rotate the core. Not this side, not this side, this side. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Extend arm. Yeah, it moves away. All right. I mean, it's not the world's prettiest girl at the ball, but she'll turn a head or two. Let's see. Then we need another one for this tank. Come on. Will you rotate, please? Yeah, all right, I'm gonna take you here and that's gonna be good enough. Yeah, and I've noticed that I'm punting it straight into the, <laughs> into the vacuum engine, that's fine. You want to pump hot fuel into directly into the combustion chamber, that's, that's great job, Grumforks. Nice. Yeah, guys, you know, whatever. <laughs> All right. I'm just making action groups. Yeah. All in all, I'm trying to keep this craft low complexity and I will be queuing up a lot of this episode. So guys, you know, for those of you who are my loyal viewers, you will know that at the end of each episode, there's an end screen. And on that end screen, there's a link to the new yet maybe even yet unpublished episode if you're watching this early enough. So I'm recommending that you check out all the way to the end and who knows, maybe if I had the time to record, there will be another episode waiting for you. An episode that no one has seen before. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we are going with the test and uh, there we go. Surface active, it looks wonderful. It goes royally nice. And it actually performs quite nicely. Our thrust to weight is already 1.9, which I think is great. So I just have to be a little bit careful. Okay, let's throttle down a little bit. We don't really need to go that fast. And the simulation is kind of important because it tells me if there's any inherent problems with the rocket. And I, and I like to test stuff at least uh, until the ascent. The rest, I leave it as a mystery to see if it will work. No point of... I mean, they say test everything, but then this is Kerbal Space Program. Where's the joy if everything goes right? Now. All right. So, good. We have this. Add maneuver node. Perfect. 
100 by 100 orbit and then I'm gonna see the, the whole reason for me doing this testing is actually to see how much delta V is remaining once I get this thing into the orbit. Yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right, uh, popping the fairing, hello and goodbye. Let's open the solar panels. Oh, I love the circular panels and the radiators are up. Actually quite nice, don't you think? All right, so our burn will be in roughly 10 seconds. Oh, make that now. And <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit trigger happy. What can you do? All right, and coming up to the stage set, hit it. Ooh, vacuum engine looks beautiful. And uh, the total amount of delta V that we'll have for the transfer shall be around uh, 5,553 meters per second. Well, honestly, I don't know if that's enough to get around Moho. I think it should be probably, but you never know. All right, te I've tested the engine. The Hecate engine seems to be working. So guys, you know what to do. Like if you like the episode, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.